welcome back to the show. My name is Kat and this week we are exploring a spot in the city that pays homage to the Ukrainian culture. So with everything going on uh, in the world today, uh, the Ukrainian people are going through it and I thought it might be good if we as a society supported them by knowing and finding out more about their culture and how beautiful it is, about their contributions to the city of Toronto and about how to support them during this very tough time. Uh, Ukrainian culture is beautiful, features colorful dance, beautiful food, um, and is very rich. Today we're going to check out and learn a little bit more about what the Ukrainians have brought to all of us around the world, and uh, we're going to taste some of their delicious food. Our first stop is the Heavenly Pierogi. It's got 4.7 stars online, it looks delicious, and uh, they've got this food called Varoniki, which is uh, like pierogies. It's these Eastern European dumplings, which we are going to try, uh, as well as other things. So let's go check them out and see what we can find at the Heavenly Pierogi. over at Heavenly Pierogi tastes like. So let's see actually, let's see if it's any good. We've got some carrots and veg in there. Looks pretty good. Let's try it. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. I think I like the dessert ones just as much, if not more, than the savory ones. Jenchenko's Bakery, one of Toronto's Ukrainian and Eastern European bakeries. I want to go inside now to see what kinds of desserts we can find to follow up our varaniki and uh, beef cabbage roll with. So let's see what kinds of Ukrainian desserts we can find in the Blue West Village, which is a predominantly Eastern European and family-oriented area. So let's go see what else we can find uh, around here. is that Eastern European food like Ukrainian food is all savory. There's a huge dessert array that uh, you can choose from. This is one example of that. Uh, the whole of Jenchenko's bakery is filled with cookies and tarts and turnovers and um, desserts to pick but uh, we chose this one. So this is a Ukrainian honey cake with layers of white cream with some buttercream on top with some walnuts. Looks delicious and uh, it seems amazing. It's very soft now that I'm holding it. We unfortunately can't eat inside, but um, you guys can see. Hopefully this doesn't make a mess. Oh my god, it's so soft. It's gonna like fall off. Oh, this is not... <laughs> 
Okay, there you go. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, that's amazing. How would you describe it? I would definitely describe it as different. I've never had anything like this. It tastes like coffee mixed with apples, mixed with cinnamon, Ooh. mixed with like a, a hint of chocolate. It's really good. Really good. So clearly the uh, Ukrainians know what they're doing with dessert too. Alright guys, well that's all for today. We got to explore and delve into just a little bit of what the Ukrainian culture has to offer. As you guys have seen, uh, there are some delicious Ukrainian dumplings to try called Varaniki, which come in both savory and sweet varieties. I highly recommend the blueberry ones from Heavenly Pierogi. There's also the Bloor West Village area, which has a larger uh, Ukrainian population where you can find other businesses such as Jenchenko Bakery, which was uh, an amazing treat, really amazing desserts from there. Uh, we had the cake that that honey cake that was delicious and very unique. I'm still trying to figure out what I just ate. <laughs> um, and in this time, really, let's push forward and support our Ukrainian friends who are going through a tough time. Fighting for peace is no joke. And right now, a whole country is at war. So whatever you can do to support them, whether it's shopping local at Ukrainian businesses or donating online, I'm going to leave some links down below. And together, we can fight for a better world. Let's not let this war go any further than it needs to. And let's fight for a world that we all actually believe in. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. What was it? Yak and you. Yak. Yank you. Yank you. Something like that. Wait, I'll, I'll get up. Yak you. Yakuyu. Yakuyu. Yaku. Yaku. Are you recording? Yep. Oh. <laughs> Yakuyu.